new 30 Miles Out gear is here. Check it out at 30milesout.com. Welcome to 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. With your host, Ty Sutherland. Set your paddle down for a moment. Sit back, relax, and watch a new episode. 30 miles out. Ty and Teresa's kayaks provided by Mariner Sales, Wind and Paddle Sports. 30 miles out is brought to you by Yak Attack Because We Fish. By the Right On Trailer Company. Rattle Trap. Smith Optics. The Fish Grip. The Backwater Paddle Company. And by Hook One. Welcome back to the Florida Series Part 2. Last time we were in Pensacola, Navarre Beach. Now we're headed to Fort DeSoto, just south of Tampa, Florida. Fort DeSoto State Park is an awesome place to camp. It's got great fishing all around it, really nice restrooms, water, electric, everything you need for a good fishing trip. We arrived at the State Park early morning. This is a very tropical place. If it's not raining where you are, it's raining really close. There's a lot of rain and we just sat back and enjoyed the light show. So here we are at Fort DeSoto Park in Tampa, Florida. Let me show you a little, let me show you around just a touch. Look at all the palmery. Is that a word, palmery? Wind's blowing about 10 to 15. It was dead still yesterday. Got the axe rigged up on the right on trailer. Right on! rods, stuff hanging up to dry, four-man tent, sleeps two people really comfortable. Got some tarps over everything, to, had a little bit of some rain showers, keeps the rain out. It's a very tropical place, it rains a lot. You hear thunder constantly in the distance. That's gotta be my favorite napping spot right there. I've never been this far south at this point in Florida with kayaks and gear and everything. I was excited. I grabbed Teresa's kayak and hit the water and just started chunking top water. Looks like Teresa and I will have something to eat after all. We're on a mission this afternoon. We're going to meet David Danforth from Real Local right by downtown Tampa. I see you, David Danforth. There he What's is. up, man? Teresa. How you doing? Uh, this is old old Florida style. You won't find a lot of places like it. Everything's fresh. Um, there's a lot of docks out here that hold a lot of big fish. We will, uh, we're also going to do the power plant. The power plant has an outflow and uh, all the bait gets washed up in it. And so a big predator to the predatory fish will come in ambush to pop. So that's what we're aiming for. Sweet. Let's get out of here. I can't wait. Woo! Inboards, <laughs> outboards. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Just a couple big ones. Ooh. Before we launched, David wanted to show us what kind of big snook they have in this area. Those There's some mangroves in there too. There's some big boys too. We in Tampa, what do they call this? This is St. Pete. St. Pete? On this side of the bridge. Okay. The same on the other side. Nice. Whoa. These snook are fast, but I think this mangrove is a little faster. That's big snook. That's where we're headed, folks. Well, unfortunately, we had the tide working against us. Look how low it is. That means there's not much water up in the mangroves, but we weren't going to let that deter us. We were going to find something at that outflow. Weed Nile, St. Pete. Weed Nile, St. Pete. There's some dolphin feeding in our zone right here. <laughs> They're high tailing. Wow. Top water. <laughs> gaff top. Top water gaff top. Wow. Oh man, 
Well, we got us a squall coming in, but we were burning up, and no seams were eating us, so we don't care. Keep on fishing. Woo! <laughs> when we got back to the dock areas, the rain laid down. David immediately hooked up live shrimp with a mangrove snapper. You want my hand paddle? Back water paddle? Here you go, bro. Back water float. There you go. Mango? Ooh, more dinner. All right, more dinner. Where were these snook at? We kept dropping shrimp down along the pilings and turning up some mangroves and some monster pins. Jeez. Sucker go a pound and a half. But with the tide out so far, it was really tough to fish these mangroves. That didn't stop me though. I threw and threw and threw. Just knowing I was gonna get a monster blow up from a snook or a tarpon or something, but it just wasn't in the cards. But really, who can complain? Obviously something was on our side. Plus, we just got here, and I was grateful just to be there in my kayak. Anyway, we made a great new friend, David Danforth from Real Local. And that's what it's really about, meeting people and having fun on the water. Fish or not, how can you be mad with scenery like this? Oh, what you got? 30 miles out, we'll be right back. Downtown Miami, by the airport. Looking for peacock bass and whatever else. I just saw two tarpon roll in this freshwater pond. Oh my goodness. I think I'm out in Miami. I don't know. I've slept all the way over here. <laughs> Right behind me is the Miami International Airport. We got a Hilton right here. We got the Burger King Worldwide Headquarters across this little lake. Uh, it's a freshwater lake. It does go into the Atlantic. I've just seen two tarpon roll. I'm in Miami, trick. Look at that old tropical squirrel, I like to call him. That's an iguana, folks. They eat the mangoes down here. There he is, look at him. We'll call him Steve. I tell you what guys, these gentle giants are everywhere. They're actually an invasive species that was brought to South Florida. It's kind of like hogs in Texas. They range from the Keys up through Northern Palm Beach County. People don't like them, they eat some expensive landscaping and they love mangoes. They first noticed these in South Florida in 1964. They have no idea how many are out there now. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. There's a lot. You see them on all the walls and docks. They say the green iguana got started down here by people dumping pets and by cargo ships bringing in cargo from the Caribbean. Who knows, but it looks like they're here to stay. These dudes average four to six feet. And the general rule of thumb in South Florida is if you don't want them in your yard, don't plant a mango tree. Y'all check out this Procostumus. There's Oscars, Procostumus, um, African cichlids in this water, tarpon, peacock bass, snakehead. You never know what's in these neighborhood canals in Miami. It's all fresh water too. There's an aquarium Procostumus right there. Check that out. They went, look, in that hole. Look, there's a peacocks. What is that? Bananas. Bananas? Well, we've spotted peacocks. We've spotted tarpon in, this, in these canals. We've uh, had some snakehead, four snakehead hits, and nothing strike. We're gonna troll back to the truck and go find some other places around Miami to throw in the axe, see what we can't find. It's all fun and games anyway. Heading back to the car, I noticed a school of jacks busting on the bank line. They were hauling booty. I was having trouble keeping up. They were blowing up on everything. Ugh, bad cast.
Oh my god. They'll hit anything, just tie it up. I've never had this much fun behind a hotel before. Look, this is a good cast, this is a good cast. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Nothing. It's too big. My plug is too big. Ah, I'm getting frustrated. Can't catch a break, man. Yeah, but kill me. Well, giving it one last ditch effort, I saw some tarpon roll in this lake, Blue Lagoon, they call it. I'm gonna troll all the way back to the to the boat dock. And this is what I'm using, a Yozuri Crystal Minnow. It's a shallow diver, it's got a lot of flash. It works good. I tried for peacock, saw them up on the bank, they couldn't get them to eat. I got four blow-ups from Snakehead on the banks throwing uh, impact lures. Uh, it's like a, a buzz torpedo. That's about it. Doing some urban kayak fishing. What? Oh. I finally hang something big on this Yozuri and my contour is barking at me. It doesn't, it's giving out. Better turn on the GoPro. What is this? I'm in the middle of Miami. It's kind of a brackish freshwater environment. There's tarpon, there's snook, there's snakehead, there's peacock bass. What could this be? I finally hung something in South Florida. It's a big snook, it's a big snook. No! I can't seem to catch a break, but hey, I've only been in South Florida for one day. Maybe I'm overexcited. We're not using guides, we're just kind of figuring this out on the fly. Give it a little time, and we'll get this thing going. I'd like to thank a couple of groups that made it possible for Teresa and I to even be way down here. That's the What Nation. Without you guys, the fans, we couldn't do it. The second group is our sponsors. We could not do this without the support of these awesome companies helping out 30 miles out. I've been doing this for six years and shoot most of these products I was using way before they became sponsors of the show. I just, they're our friends now, and I just want to thank every one of them. Y'all know I love all this stuff you see me using. If you get a chance, go check them out. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. What? Yeah, look at the guys in. Wow. Great, great. All right, climb the set. Climb the set. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs>